morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, welcome <laughs> back. Yes, yes, we're so excited about season two. I am your host, Tracy Berry McGee, also known as Divine T. And I am your co-host, Yolanda Langford, and you know what they still call me, Lady, Lady Yo. Lady Yo, <laughs> Lady Yo, Lady Yo. You know, we are so excited. This is, you know, we say that all the time. We're so excited, we're so excited. But this is our second season. Yes. We're all about wellness this year, and we're talking about wellness checks. You've got to check on our strong friends. Absolutely. What did you do over the break? How, how are you? First of all, I am so pleased to see your beautiful eyes in person. I am fantastic. I took the time just to reflect on how good God is. Yes, You yes. know, we started the season last year. We, we just didn't know how it was gonna go, but it was fantastic. My cup was always overflowing. So I just spent the time reflecting and I got a little R&R &R in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's always good to see your smile. And um, we decided that we really would focus on wellness this year uh, over the break. Um, some of you may know, but I lost my dad right mm -hmm. after the season. And it was really ironic because you know, when we first started our first season, the Saturday before Thanksgiving, lost my mom. And then this time, the Saturday before, after Thanksgiving, I lost my dad. But it made me realize the importance of a happy smile. Yes, indeed. The importance of knowing that your health is your wealth and why we do what we do, Absolutely. you know? And so we're going to be intentional this year of, of asking each other, uh, doing a wellness check, checking in on your strong friends and making sure that your cup is not just what you're sipping on, but also is your cup full or what? But you know, speaking of what you're <laughs> sipping on, what's in your cup? You know, I started out with some green tea this morning, just, you know, a little antioxidants and, and, and get myself together. <laughs> and uh, I want to feel healthy. My wellness is important. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Well, you know what I'm sipping on. Black coffee, no, <laughs> no sugar, sugar, no, no cream. cream. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of that, um, we have someone that's full of like black coffee and fun. I want you to tell everybody, because y'all know she loves the exclusives, <laughs> who is our Vibrant Vibe guest for today? Hold on to your seat because we have the one and only Guy Tory. He's going to be here giving us an exclusive about Fat Tuesday, and I, that's P H A T. Tuesday, so we have the Guy Tory in the house. Yes, that's right. So you all get ready. You'll see him later on. But for now, grab your journals and let's get ready for our Own Your Now Cup of Therapy. We'll be right back. And you know what? It's sponsored by Fraser Automotive. Pull up. <laughs> Life is all about the journey. Life's curves, hitting the road fast or slow celebrations, anniversaries, and birthdays. Everything in life is about moving forward. Whatever direction you choose to go, go far, go in style. New or used, go with Frazier. What's up? I'm actor, comedian Guy Tory, and I want you to keep watching On Your Now Show on the AH TV network. Why not? So now it is time for our Own Your Now cup of therapy moments. You know, we're talking about affirmations this year, and I, I really want to focus on affirmations of the year because it's the first day out of our season yes and that's important and so my word is yes i'm going with the year of the yes you remember shonda ron's book she definitely the year did of the yes year of the so yes my word for the year that's gonna be my word for the year you'll have a different affirmation word every day but my word for the year is yes okay what about you my word is enthusiasm. I just want to take the enthusiasm that has been poured into me and pour it back out. I just want to be enthusiastic about everything I do in 2022. Woo, did you see that? Is 
Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she? Oh my gosh. You're yes. Sweet. <laughs> no, I'm so serious. Enthusiasm is what you bring every single day. And I'm oftentimes, you know, we have roller coaster rides that Absolutely. we go through and we have to get on and get off. But you gotta be enthusiastic about your day. And so I, I appreciate that. Thank say you. it with me. Say yes. Say I am saying yes to everything that is intentional, because yes. you can't say yes to everything. Yes. But we gotta make sure that if we are intentional and we're in the moment, that the yeses that come to us will be worth it. Absolutely. So I'm just saying yes, okay? <laughs> saying yes. Lady O, let's get ready for our transformational stretch. Our transformational stretch, the song is just simply yes. It's yes. Everybody take a deep breath Shade in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Put your hand on your chest. And we'll start with our right arm. Take it up slowly. Reach for the sky. Yes, indeed. Say yes. And bring it down if you can. Arm up. As far as you can go. Say yes. Stretching in 2022, too. Bring it down. Both arms up. Prayer position. Bring it to the center. Yes. 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 Indeed. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's what it's all about. You have to learn to say yes. That's that's it. Saying yes. And yes is a complete sentence. Yes is a complete sentence. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So that's what this is all about, you guys. Making sure that we continue to do our transformational stretches and that we say yes to all things that matter to us because yes. it's all about being intentional. So when we return, let's get ready for our Own Your Now cup of therapy, what we call it, our vibrant vibe guest yes, of the day. Yes. You all tune in, because guess what, y'all? We got the Guy, Guy Tori, Tori in I'm the house. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> We're going to have some laughs. <laughs> yes, we will. Let's get ready. <laughs> yes, we will. promised we have STL's own comedian, writer, and actor, Guy Tory. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, <laughs> look at that smile. <laughs> Welcome home. I'm in the loop. Yes. <laughs> our our first love, guest. Our first guest. Thank you so much for Man. saying yes. So before we get started, we have to ask you, what's in your cup? Same thing in my bed, black coffee. Oh, black <laughs> coffee. <laughs> straight, straight black, no sugar, no cream? No sugar, no cream. That's how cream I like bit it. Time, but mostly black coffee. It's black coffee. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we love our coffee, black, no sugar, no cream. But we're here talking about, even though you're here on a Monday, we're yes. going to talk about it on Mondays and Tuesdays, because we're talking about the fact that you are also Fat Tuesday's founder, <laughs> host, executive <laughs> director of the new documentary series, Fat Tuesdays. Tell us what exactly is Fat Tuesday? Well, um, Reggie Hudlin actually is the director of it. He and Byron Phillips directed it. Uh, I added my little two cents here and there, but you know, I can out direct those two. <laughs> but Fat Tuesdays is a comedy night that I created uh, back in 1995 in Los Angeles, California to help young black comedians get seen because you know after the riots in 92 the rodney king riots industry was not going to the hood to uh, to see black comedians <laughs> right, yes. right. so you know i had to do something i had to shake something up and and i created this night to showcase black comedians and so many brothers and sisters came through there to where they were showcased and got either tv deals movie right. deals agents managers it became a, a a show place for for hollywood 
a That's show place yes. for Hollywood. Yeah. And you brought that to Hollywood all the way from the loo. From the loo. <laughs> from the loo. You, it was definitely an assignment from yes. above. Because I was only doing comedy three years at the time. There's no wow. way I could have opened those doors by myself. So with the help of the good, uh, good Lord upstairs, opening doors for me. And uh, it, it came into, it, it became a phenom. Yeah. Now, it's P-H-A-T. Yes. P-H-A-T, yes. not F-A-T. Not F-A-T. Not no. F-A-T. Yes. So, you know, P-H-A-T, fat. Yeah. Talk to us about the, the, the docu-series and, and the people that we might see. I'm excited to see all the comedians. Yeah, you know and, she and, loves And will exclusive. it be like um, <laughs> exclusives of where they were then and where they are now? Yeah, or? It, you know, it's, 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 it was tough because it's, you know, telling the story, you start talking to the comedians and you get their origin story. Mm. And you get locked into the origin story, like forget the Fat Tuesday story. <laughs> wow, look how you came up. Right. So, you know, we, we had, it was a hard balance, but um, Kelsey Grammer co-produced it wow. with me. Uh, like I said, executive producer yes. uh, Reggie Hudlin in St. Louis and East St. Louis and Reggie Hudlin. East Boogie. <laughs> you know, we came together and just put this great piece of, uh, this docu-series together. And I mean, come on, uh, of course you gotta have the St. Louisans in there. Right, you know, right. Joe Torrey, my brother, Cedric the Entertainer. That's right, that's um, right. Wanted to get Lavelle Crawford, couldn't location-wise, cause that's one of my favorite comedians, yes. uh, the homie Lavelle Crawford. Um, Bob Saget, this unfortunately, uh, mm, who yes. passed away a couple of weeks ago, uh, he's in it, cause he used, he used wow. to come to Fat Tuesdays. It was a predominantly right. black room, but Bob Saget was fearless. And, he, and I'd met him, you know, up at a comedy festival and, and you know, he, he knew about the room and it's like, mm -hmm. he'd like to come play it sometime. And when he walked on that stage, people were like, this nerd dude from Full House? <laughs> but then when he opened his mouth, they were like, oh! oh wow, that's what Bob I heard. Saget. So Bob yes. Saget's in it, Chris Tucker's in it, Dave Chappelle's in it. Great uh, stories, Man, it's so stories. many, so many. Nick Cannon. Yes, uh, yes. Regina King, wow. Melanie Camacho, Lunell, Kim Whitley, wow. Marshall Warfield, George Wallace. Oh yes. yes! I mean, yes. It, it's, 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 <laughs> it's A.P.R. Going. Crockett, Russell Peters, you name it, uh, the comedians are in it. And, and and Tiffany Haddish, I don't know if I said Snoop, Snoop's in it. Yes, oh, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> you can see you going back to that space. Oh, man. You know, um, uh, people often um, remember the first time they did things. The first right. time you actually were doing comedian, com being a comedian, right. because you didn't even realize you was funny, but right. you're funny. Right. Uh, when, how did that feel the first time you like, let's go, we got paid to do it. Yes, you we well, got paid to do yeah, that, that, yeah. well, <laughs> well, it's funny, because it starts when we're kids. Right. I mean, it starts in, on the playground, it starts in the classroom, it starts on the school bus, it starts on a football practice field, it starts <laughs> when we're young, we just don't know what it is. Yes. And then once you start seeing people making money for this, I'm like, what? I could have dropped out in the third grade and went pro. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a professional, you know, class clown. So the first time I got paid was actually only two months after I did stand up. A guy by the name of Spike um, in, in LA gave me $20. I'll never forget it. It was $20. $20. I mean, I was happy like, that yes, was $20. Yes. I was broke. Had on that $20 went a long way back in 92. Yes. Right. So that was the first time. But the first time I can honestly say, like, wow, I can do this, was I taped the Deaf Comedy Jam. I think it may have been my second Deaf Comedy Jam. Mm -hmm. And I was in a pizza spot. It was in, 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 LA, in, in, in New York. And I was getting a slice of pizza, and the guy who, who was at the show saw me and said, hey, son, you, I, you got mad love in Brooklyn. You funny. Oh, love wow. It. And, when, and I don't know why that moment is, was such, like, this I got it. love in Brooklyn. I got, yo, you got mad love in Brooklyn, yo. And I was right. just like, wow. And then, you know, that's when I realized, well, I can do this. Yes, you can yeah. do it for a living. And a for good a living. And, and a good, good living, living. Yes. as I must say, a good living. <laughs> I got my groceries off layaway. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gonna come over for some of those groceries. And no, you know, I cook so, well now. Oh, oh, I'm a good cook now. Oh, 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 I make, speak, I make the best that. greens in the world. You do? Oh, 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 give it up greens. Know. Every time I give cook my it greens, up my greens. And it's dropped. <laughs> <laughs> my son-in-law makes some great greens. Yeah, he ain't got nothing on my. We wanted to talk about the fact that we're always, it's so great to bring St. Yes. Louis together, but oh, you got absolutely. St. Louis, East Boogie. How was it for you um, working with Reginald Hudlin? Because he's done amazing yes. work. Kansas City be trying to sneak in there, but we, yeah. uh, we still mad at the I-70 series. <laughs> right, so right. For the, for the Cardinals uh, Royals series back in 80, what, 87? 80, 80, anyway, uh, working with Reggie was great. I mean, I had, it's funny, because I've been working on this, this, this project 
for at least 12, 13 years, wow. underground for like yes. nine. Mm -hmm. And I finally took it to my agent's office after I put a sizzle together, and they saw it and was like, you've been sitting on this? <laughs> Say, wow. this you got something here. Perfect timing, though. So, exactly. There so so what ended up happening was we started shopping it. You know, mm -hmm. and then once we did all the all the meetings, and then COVID hit while we were right. pitching, so we had Zoom uh, pitches, yes. which is not the same because because I can I can sell something in the room. Yes. Right. So now Smart. you got to sell it on Zoom. You kind of miss a little box. A little <laughs> bit of yeah, you miss a little bit of the of the magic. So we end up you know it's going with Amazon Prime. They were the I felt they were the best home yes. for their product, yes. and I mean working with Reggie was like first before we even had Reggie, um, they wanted. Some other big no name yeah. directors. I wanted Regina King at first because that's like my sister. Yes, you know, she's dope. She's and but she was busy. She wanted to do it. She's in it, by the way. Yes, and Shout she wanted out. to do it, but she was busy. She had another project she was working on. So they wanted this other big name director. I, I won't say his name. And I'm a big fan of this guy, but I didn't think he was right for this project. Got it. And they sent it to him. He loved it. And and uh, but we'd have to wait two years. Mm. You now know, timing. And I timing was like, yo, everything. so <laughs> I had talked to Reggie about this project years ago when he was on a set of Django, Unchained. Oh, okay. Because yes. he's one of the producers yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. So I talked about it to him about a year ago, and, and I, I told them, I said, hey, I, I think I'm going to contact Reggie Hudlin. And they were like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> can you? Yeah, you just go call up Reggie Hudlin. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes, was, you can. I, yeah, I just call up Reggie Hudlin. And I said, oh, okay, all right. So then called up Reggie. And you know Reggie was directing the Emmys that weekend, which wow. I didn't know the first time um, directing the Emmys. First time I had a black man directing the Emmys. I remember that. And yes. everything just came together. And he, I sent him the project, and he texted me back, "We got to do this. <laughs> we have we. to do this." And I, I love got that. chills. I love that. I got chills yes. immediately. I screenshot it and I sent it to you know the, some of the other producers in the production company. And they were like little schoolgirls. They were, like, they, you know, they were all like giddy. Speaking of school, in high school, and on the On Your Now feel show, like it. And on the On Your Now show, we call that holding. You're holding. You're holding. You're holding. Season. 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 Yes. You know, because my brothers went there, Ramon and Joe went there. Mm -hmm. So I ended up going to Vision Performing Arts. What's up? Who else went to Vision Performing Arts? <laughs> I Bam. did. Yeah, but I still played football for Southwest, even though I went to VAP. Yeah, I still we didn't was have able a football play. team. Right. Well, yeah. yeah, they got it later after I left. Right, I right. After I left as well. But you know, there's a little story behind this because, you know, he always has been funny, like you said. Yes. And people used to tease me. So when he would get on the bus, you know, the cool people <laughs> sat in the back of the bus. Okay, okay. I sat in the front. Oh, yes. Because there was no way he was going to talk about me. <laughs> I, I had oh. to hold it, you know. It, it's always that. When you go to a comedy show, you're afraid to sit oh, near the comedian. I'm not You've gotten sitting. me a couple of times. You've gotten me a couple o of times. On the school bus. It was that was like really early That's show because I sit on that bus. Me, Tyrone Fryson, uh, went to bat with me, Charles Edwards. Oh yes. my man, we would we be we would be on that bus, and as soon as you walk down that aisle, it's like the catwalk. And look, oh we had a long ride, and didn't ready. we? And we was ready. Well, you got long. I wasn't doing it. I wasn't oh doing it. Because I'm like comedians are like terminators. Yes. You know what I'm saying I'm scoping what you got the on, your job. gear, your behaviors, any deformities you got. I mean, huh. back then, I mean, they call it bullying uh, now. Right, <laughs> but, <laughs> that was bullying. But back then, you, 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 you're ready, you're ready, you're registering everything yes, that's, that's right. going on. So you're on. like, I'm not, the I'm, not, on folks. I'm not looking yeah, at Jonah. Yeah, Jonah, bagging, Jonah. playing the dozens, oh, whatever yes, you call indeed. it. Well, you know, before you go, we have to ask you, what is your affirmation word? What is that one word when you wake up in the morning that gets you going? It's a, it's a, it's a, a word I, a combo word I put together, do, D O period. Mm. Oh. Yes. But it stands for discipline and obedience. I love that. That's my do. That's so one. do it, as long as I stay disciplined in whatever I need to get done for that day, yes. and stay yes. obedient to what has been put on my spirit to do, then. I'm cool for the day. That's period. Good. That's good. Period. D O period. D O Do. period. <laughs> um, I love it. Discipline, obedience. Yes. You're disciplined. You're obedient to the word. You said this is the divine time. Absolutely. Uh, 240 countries, uh, territories worldwide. When does it air? It airs on February 4th. Friday, February 4th. The documentary Fat Tuesdays will so hit the Friday. airways. 
That's only in a couple of days. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. only in a couple of days. So it airs, and I'm, I'm excited for it. Um, due to COVID, we're, 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 we're probably not going to end up doing a premiere yeah. party. Well, yes. let us know if you do a premiere yeah, party. Yeah. We, we want to be I made there. a watch party, though. We're talking about okay. doing something virtual. <laughs> All right. You know, because only a couple of days away. So yeah. we, got, we got to make some decisions yeah. really, really quick. Absolutely. You know, one of the things about us is we're a wellness show. And we were just thinking about, you know, we talked earlier about us coming back off of our season. Right. Yes. We dealt with a lot of grief, the mm. pandemic. How has that been for you? You're touring, you get on a plane, sometimes the planes are full, sometimes yes. they're empty, and then of I course... I never been on an empty plane. Yes, uh, <laughs> you know, that whole thing. And taking care of your health. Well, you know, the, the, the pandemic, uh, and I say this all the time in interviews, because hopefully someone will pick up on it, um, is that it was a blessing and a curse. Mm -hmm. you know, it was a blessing, it was a curse because a lot of people lost their lives, businesses, yes. Their marriages. <laughs> Don't you start. Don't you start. Keep it right, lady. Okay. Keep, keep it right. Back. You know, spending too much time together. A lot of people end up hating their kids and more and all that. But, um, but for me, it was I needed that break because as comedians, you know, people don't understand the stress that we're under. Mm -hmm. We're traveling all the time. It's a blessing. Don't get it twisted. Yes. I say we're not. I'm not complaining. Just explaining. But the tra tra traveling is stressful. Airports, dealing with all that is stressful. Hotels, doing the shows, yes. you, we're eating bad, we're eating comedy club food, we're eating fast right. food, we're eating late night, we drink for free. Oh, right. Lord. You know, and I do, <laughs> I do yes. 300 shows a year. Wow. So, so that's a lot of free alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> You're mad. A lot of late nights and early flights. Oh, and so with goodness, all of that, the coffee. stress of everything, at the age that I am, you know, that's going to take a toll after a while. Right. So having that break. Yes of being off the road because of COVID really gave my body a chance to kind of like hopefully repair itself. Right. You know, and, but you know, it is. I mean, it, it is, even traveling during COVID now, it's a little bit more stressful than, than traveling pre-COVID. Because now you, you do have Absolutely. that extra worry, mm -hmm. that extra, you know, how airports are now and how people are now and yeah. certain people okay. not respecting your space, the six feet. Like, yes, like, you know on, get on the dot. Right. Get on the dot. Where is your dot? <laughs> get on the dot. You're too close. Find the dot. You're too close. <laughs> but then it's crazy because we, we they do all that in the airport. And then you go on the plane and sit right next to someone. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, like, we're doing, right. We're all doing our best with what we the knowledge we have. That's all we right. have to say about. But the you know you got to stay. You got to keep your immune system strong. So in addition mm -hmm. to um, whatever vaccinations people should get, they should have. I did. I get an immun immunization shot. I get. Right. I get a. Um, a wellness shot okay. yes, with zinc and vitamin yes. C oh, yeah. and vitamin D and B Those complex and amino acids. Just that extra layer of protection uh, on top of the protection that's coming from above. Hey man, say that first. If you do everything right, you know, then you know, you just pray about it and keep it moving. Yes. Your health, your health is your wealth. Well, you know, we are so thankful for you saying yes to us. We know a couple of weeks you celebrated, uh, well, a couple of weeks ago, you celebrated your birthday. How old did you turn? 35. Oh, there you go. Yep, I celebrated <laughs> 35. He's sticking Young with tender. it. He's He's sticking. 35. <laughs> you can pass for 35. We'll let you have that. 35. Yeah, I'm, then, just, okay. I'm dyslexic too, but. <laughs> 35. Wow. Thank you. We thank you so much for saying yes to us. You know, keep sipping and keep owning your now. We're excited. We're looking forward to um, this Friday. Yep, Fat Tuesday. Fat documentary. Tuesday. Amazon -E Prime. Yep. <laughs> Amazon Prime. Make sure you tune in. It's the best damn comedy show, period. Period. When we return, get ready for the Own Your Now flow. Continue success. We are so proud of you. Thank yes, you. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. How'd you hear about Fat Tuesdays? How'd you hear about Jesus? Told you. This is how we do it. It's 1995. Comics back then were predominantly white. And I said, man, there's so many funny people doing comedy in the hood, but there was no one there to see them. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna change that Guy was like, Hollywood don't want to come to the hood, so let's take the hood to Hollywood. Every Tuesday is in this room. Fat Tuesday. I had no idea what the f I was doing. I saw Chris Rock, Chris Tucker, Martin Lawrence, Jamie Foxx, Kevin Hart. Every week, sold out. It was the neighborhood. For the first time, I was able to do black humor. Man, this was really our space. Fat Tuesdays was like a melting pot for like genius. 
stand-up comedy for black comedians, it was born out of some specific circumstances. He stole my radio, my couch. He stole my whole couch? <laughs> comedians take these topics, take the stress off people, and make them laugh. The black stealing on us like we invented it. Now, we may have perfected it. I mean, yeah, we may snatch a purse, but we didn't steal a whole country and call the United States. <laughs> You would come here and the agents would see you. Maybe you get signed, maybe you get a movie, maybe you get a TV show. It was one of the great renaissances of black comedians being ushered in. People became stars, man. When we created Wild and Out, Fat Tuesday was the model. Film, TV, fashion, music, we all were thriving. Yo, what's up? That Tuesday was something very special to witness, to say you were there. I had some fun here tonight. <laughs>So now it is time for the Own Your Now Flow. When I tell you today's show was everything, it was fat, wasn't it? It was P-H-A-T. <laughs> <laughs> we are so thankful for Guy Tory for stopping by, being our first guest for season two. Yes. So when you think about the Own Your Now Flow, I want you all to remember to say yes to the things that are intentional about you. It's important that you be well. And when you do be well, you do make sure that you do all the things with enthusiasm, because yes. that's what it's all about. And you know what, all I gotta say is, make sure that when you go out, you just take care of yourself and you be well. Be well, you know you have to uh, get those vibrant vibes and keep sipping on love, peace, and positivity. And remember, tomorrow isn't promise, and today is the present, so remember to own your, your now. now.